Hey guys, I'm here again this week in the My Year 17, uh, blah blah blah, <laughs> My Year 2017 Facebook group to bring you yet another idea using markers, pencils, or crayons. And um, this is my idea. I did the, I didn't use any paint on this. I know, right? Super cute. All right, so I'm going to show you how I did it. These are just simple fabric tags now, um, can and they're made out of canvas. Now you can get these at any fabric and craft store. Um, there's a million places you can order them online. You could also make them, and I'll be really honest. I have all the stuff to make them. I was just lazy today, and I decided to go buy them instead of digging out the box of eyelets and making a tag. Um, you don't have to make it a tag. You could just make it maybe a little strip of fabric, um, unhemmed, a cute little patch, and I do plan on doing some of those. I will probably post pictures of them at some point during the week because I think these would be really cute attached to any mixed media project, much less our journals or something. So let me show you how I did this. The first thing you want to do, and this time I'm going to do this banner shape because I think this is really interesting. First thing you want to do is get the fabric wet. Really, really wet. My wa um, art water that's here on the desk is dirty, so that's why we're spraying it with a spray bottle rather than sticking it in the. Um, I'm gonna put this one up here so it doesn't get wet. So rather than sticking it in the in the glass jar because <laughs> it's not good. All right, so I'm gonna just. You saw me blot it a little bit, so it's not dripping wet, but it is wet. I'm gonna take some um, watercolor markers. Any water soluble marker will work. Um, if you have only um, inexpensive products like Crayola markers, any of the Crayola washable markers will work for this. Choose some really bright colors because they're going to fade a little bit as the piece is dried. I chose to do the other tag, and I think for right now, for the sake of ease, I'm going to stick with these colors. Um, I chose Permanent Rose, Turquoise, and dioxazine violet. Um, so we're going to start with the permanent rose and I'm going to use the fat tipped end of the markers and I'm literally going to color on the fabric and because the fabric is wet and this is a water soluble marker it's immediately being soaked into the fabric just like it would if it was regular watercolor on paper. Um, any place where the fabric is dry, that was kind of a dry corner, you can tell right away. It looks a little different. So if it was regular watercolor on paper, I always am telling you guys the watercolor is always going to take the easier road and it's going to follow the water. That's true with these markers too. So get a nice coat. It doesn't have to be super even. And then I'm going to go to purple. I'm going to overlap the colors a bit. Let go back with the pink and blend it just a little bit into the purple. Okay. And then we're going to go into the turquoise. Like I did with the pink, we'll blend it into the purple so things are blendy. We'll go back with that purple lightly. Go up and down into the blue and into the pink. Okay. If you feel like your it's not blending enough, you could I didn't do this on the other one, but I, I immediately wanted to know what would happen and I like the effect that that's getting. You can also kind of blot it a bit. Don't do that too much because the lighter this is before you dry it, the lighter it's going to be when you're done. So I'm going to dry this and let's see what happens. OK, 
Okay, so it lightened a bit from what it was before I dried it. And it's not quite all the way, all the way dry. You could let it dry more. Um, this is water soluble. This is not in here permanently. Uh, I wasn't too, con too concerned when I started working with these about whether it was washable or any of that. This is for a mixed media piece. I have no intention of ever washing this. It doesn't matter. All right. Um, so just have fun with the process. The next thing I'm going to do is take just a plain Sharpie permanent marker. You can try other things. Um, I have a paint pen here. It would work, uh, but honestly, the Sharpie works better. Um, I have a um, Posca, but I still think the Sharpie is going to be the best thing for this. I do have a paint marker. Uh, I don't know if this one's activated yet. I don't see. Nope. So yeah, um, you could use a different kind of marker. One of these paint markers might work, but I think your best bet is to just use a Sharpie marker. You could probably use a big brush pen um, if you have the Faber-Castell big brush pens or a um, alcohol marker. Um, they might work too. Uh, let's see. Like I have a Copic, black Copic. Let's see. That might work. Let's try it. Let's see if it will work, shall we? Um, you could do a doodle or you could just write inspirational words. I kind of write want to write another word. Um, let's just keep it simple. Oh yeah, the um, brush tip marker. Uh, Copic works nice on here. But the Sharpie works good too. I did the other one with Sharpie. Now drawing or writing on fabric with your markers is going to be hard on the felt tips of them. So be aware of that. I used the brush tip end of that Copic, by the way. Uh, I'm going to take a gold Sharpie paint pen. And I'm going to just put some accent dots. And then you have that. So you definitely could make a bunch of these to use in your journals. You could do like I did with my uh, prayer flags. And if you haven't seen that video, I'll link it in the description below uh, for all of you. Um, you. So you could make a banner out of these and do something like that. You could do doodles on them. You could do just about anything on them. They're really cute, really simple, really fast. If you're worried about the ink, um, coming off at some point or rubbing off, you could probably spray them with a couple of light coats of um, a, kind of some kind of aerosol spray varnish, and um, then I, then you wouldn't have to worry about it. Um, I would make sure that your paint pen and words are in permanent marker when you do that because the background is going to blend and bleed just a little bit more than it already has. All right, that's it for today. I will be back in my year 2017 with more information for you later in this week and inspiration and ideas and I'm just bursting with stuff. All right, that's it for today. Please like, share, and subscribe if you'd like to be part of the My Year 2017 Facebook group and you're not yet, um, or my other Facebook group, or support my channel by shopping in the Etsy shop, or send me happy mail, or anything like that. There's a bunch of information in the video description. Please check it out. And don't forget the most important thing, Go out and have a great day and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye, guys. Okay, I know we are bringing you a lot this month that has to do with crayons. Uh, but we love crayons. <laughs> so, um, in addition to taking these tags and ban little banners and um, decorating them with your water-soluble markers and other pens, you also, did you know you can crayon, write with on them with crayons? So these are some more of the metallic crayons. And I am literally going to doodle on the tag 
And then I'm going to show you a little trick to sort of set it um, into the fabric. And I'm not, I'm just doodling. I'm not, I don't have anything planned. To be honest, I literally just started doodling this right before I turned the camera on. I was like still deciding <laughs> what I was going to do. So like with the mono printing on paper trick that I showed you, you want to kind of push hard ish and then to set it into the fabric and make it so that it's something that you can write over or paint over with other markers or whatever and instead of having the wax kind of resist everything to make it something that is not um, going to do that, then um, I'm going to show you a trick. So I'm going to add a couple colors of crayon here. I've got a, a blue, and that was a bronze. And then I'm going to add this, um, this is like a gold, which you probably won't really be able to see on camera, but I'll hold it up in a minute. So it looks like that. Oops. Okay, so then I'm going to take my tag. Then I'm going to take my paper that I was mono printing on before. And I'm going to use it as an ironing, um, pre sorry, pressing cloth. And I'm going to put it over my tag. And then I'm going to iron it with my little craft iron. And that's going to melt all that crayon and the paper will pick up some of the wax and pigment and the rest of it will sink into the fabric there we go and you will get these little like ghost prints on your paper which is interesting and you're going to want to save that for later because it'll make interesting collage paper. So then you have this and generally as we've already discussed crayon you can't really write over unless you do one of these techniques with it. Then you can iron over it. So I'm going to take my Copic marker I think and let's use the brush tip and Um, always looking for a word to write. Okay, let's do this one. And once you have that crayon ironed into your fabric, your marker just really, it really just glides over. Now I will admit that writing with a brush tip marker is a little easier than a Sharpie, but the Sharpies, I did this one with Sharpie over the watercolor background, and I used Sharpie on this one, and it worked great. I also, the blue is some of the um, Spectrum Noir um, pens, and they work great too. This one even has a little bit of colored pencil on it from, from this set here. So then you can, oh, let's see, so the lighter colored pencils don't show up very well on here, but the darker ones do. So let's choose this one. This is a set of Mar Marvy Color In Watercolor Twist pencils, but you could use anything just to add a little more color. 
The pencils are the one thing that doesn't show up super well, but they do show up a little bit. There we go. And you can see where the pencil is on there now. Just adding some highlights. So give that a try. Create yourself some fun little tags. Again, you could make them into little patches and just use them in your mixed media. Sew them to your paper journal covers. Use a brad to attach them or just staple them with your tiny attacher. I love to do that. It's my favorite thing. All right, that's it for today. Don't forget to go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys.